Fifty Shades of Grey by E.L. James. Read by Ellen DeGeneres. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So the Fifty Shades of Grey movie finally found a director, so I thought I'd talk a little bit about what that might mean for the lead role. Let's crack the whip. Whoosh. Sam Taylor Johnson is the director of the Fifty Shades of Grey movie. You might not have heard of her before, but she earned some BAFTA nominations for her work on Nowhere Boy, and she's also the wife of Kick-Ass star Aaron Taylor Johnson, the much older wife. That's right, most recently she's been known as the wife of Aaron Taylor Johnson. It's just a little bit weird because there's about 20 years between them, but hey, cougars for the win. So what does that mean for the lead role? Does that mean that Aaron Taylor Johnson is going to be cast as the lead now that his wife is directing the movie? Not necessarily, but there is a lot of steam behind him right now. He's getting ready to debut Kick-Ass 2 this summer, and he has some experience with drama and dark comedy, which might lend itself to the type of movie that this Fifty Shades of Grey is looking to be. Let's look at this from the other side. How would you feel as a director watching your significant other have violent sex with a young actress, say like Mila Kunis or Emma Watson or Amanda Seyfried? Just to put it into perspective though, Aaron Taylor Johnson isn't the biggest actor that's being looked at for this role. A lot of people are talking about Michael Fassbender and even Henry Cavill. That's right, Man of Steel bondage. Of the two, obviously I think that Michael Fassbender is the clear winner. There's no way that Warner Brothers is going to let Henry Cavill, now that he's Superman, this really positive cultural image, do this really degenerate NC-17 sex crazy movie. But Michael Fassbender actually starred in Shame, a Steve McQueen movie. If you haven't seen it, you should check it out. He, he basically plays an analog of the Christian Grey character as like this degenerate sex addict. And just to jump back to Henry Cavill, if he's trying to get this Man of Steel sequel out by the end of 2014, there's no way he's going to have any time to do any other projects. But let me know who you want to see as Christian and Anastasia. Obviously, they haven't cast the role yet, but I'll be posting a video as soon as they release an update. Be sure to subscribe to get that video. Don't worry, there's no judgment here. I won't call you out for being perverts. In the meantime, you can check out my Star Wars 7 video that I just posted. They just announced seven new roles they're casting for, so it's huge news. Click here to watch that, and you can click here to check out my Man of Steel sequel video and learn about the planned trilogy. Thanks for watching. High fives!